the gate, the black dragon returns. Shadow here, repping 52 VTK Concepts. <clears throat> Let's talk about it. So, uh, the daily topic of discussion is the difference in systems according to region. Right? Now, this is coming from, the inspiration for this is coming from my good friend, Alan Chambers. He and I had a discussion a couple days ago, and he was saying about the difference between certain martial arts and how you can tell where it's from based on footwork and so on and such. Like, for example, uh, in Silat, which is a system that he studies, a lot of times you'll find that they move their feet a particular way, and he was saying that that's because the ground might be muddy, and you trying to just move your feet across the floor smoothly would be difficult if there's mud or sand, right? Uh, in China, you know, up in the northern areas of China, the footwork tends to be low to the ground because a lot of the times in the mountainous areas, there's snow, snow means ice, you don't want to slip and fall, so you don't pick your feet up too high off the ground, right? And that got me to thinking about the differences in um, the different styles of 52, right? One of the things that I noticed about some of the systems of 52 is that the movement, where the hands are placed and stuff like that, right? And what I mean by that is you can see the or the lack of the edge weapon element right for lack of a better term where there's not that concern that the edge weapon may not be a thing right that a lot of the times from based on my observation is you can like that's 52 that comes from the street right that's guys that learned on the street guys who uh learn from people who learn from other people on the street, so on and such, right? Whereas with the 52 that has its roots in jailhouse, there's a distinct difference, right? And I'm going to illustrate exactly what I'm talking A lot of times you find like, from again, based on my observation, guys are doing that 52 and the arms are kind of wide, they're kind of out there, whatever the case, right? The jailhouse aspect of that though, you don't see that. Things are taking place in a, in a box. Like anybody who's ever watched any of my videos, you'll notice that a lot of times my hands are moving in this space, right? I'm never really exposing my vitals, right? That comes from the reality that you can get stabbed. The individual may have a weapon, right? And since you don't know that if there's a weapon involved until you know there's a weapon involved, you fight accordingly. Right? You fight as if there is a weapon. You just haven't felt it yet, right? I always say the weapon is intended to be felt, not seen. Just because you haven't seen a weapon doesn't mean there is no weapon. You'll know it when you feel it, right? So it's better to be able to take the hit on the arms than to take it in the rib cage, right, in the neck, boom. So a lot of the times you'll find that when I'm doing my blocks, I'm staying in this space. I'm staying in this box, right? I'm keeping my vitals covered. Naturally, with every rule, there are exceptions, right? So one of the exceptions would be like skull and bones, because you're up here, your vitals are exposed. But skull and bones is a response to a, uh, a committed attack, right? I see that the hand is coming, boom, bam, so I'm here, and I'm moving, right? See, this is that footwork again, that shuffle, right? I'm moving toward that attack, away from the other hand, so that I'm not there. If he pulls a weapon with the other hand, I'm not there to get hit with it, right? So that box, that's one of the ways you can define uh, or distinguish between 52 that has its origins in jailhouse and 52 that has its origins in the street, right? There's a different level of urgency inside you know, a place, an environment where everybody's violent or most people are violent and you may have to deal with these violent people on their terms, right? Boom. They catch you slipping. You don't have a weapon. You still have to be able to protect yourself, right? So you, I'm not protecting myself if I'm fighting and my arms are up here. I'm not protecting myself from a knife if I'm fighting and my arms are out here, right? Now, 
I got to keep those things in here, right? Keep my guns in the holster, as minister used to say, right? Keep the guns in the holster. So the guns in the holster and my blocks are taking place in this box, right? Boom, 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 boom. See? So that's something to take into consideration, right? Um, it's particularly when it comes to surviving a street encounter because individual may approach you with a weapon, right? You don't want to wait until you feel the weapon in your ribs to realize, oh, snap, this dude got a weapon. I need to do something. Nah, if I'm here already, right, and I block and he stabs me here, all right, cool. I mean, I would rather not get stabbed at all, but the reality of a knife fight, and anybody who's ever been in a knife fight knows, somebody's going to get cut. Somebody's going to get stabbed, right? Boom. You want to mitigate where you get cut and or stabbed, right? So I would rather take the hit on the outside of my arms than take the hit in the trunk area, right? There's a whole lot of vital stuff in here that you don't want anybody poking a sharp piece of steel in, right? So <clears throat> it's a reasonable thing, right? Reasonable thing. If we look at it from the perspective of that environment being a region of influence, right? It's a regional thing. So it's not necessarily that anybody else is doing something wrong. It's the influence of the environment where their particular system may have come into fruition, right? If an individual had jailhouse, boom, came home, taught it to somebody, this dude's like, well, I'm not going to be fighting nobody that's going to have a knife. I want to look pretty, right? So they start doing all that, you know, all that stuff, right? Boom, out there. It's a different thing, man, a different sense of urgency, a different level of combat, right? A different level of engagement, right? So <clears throat> that's something to take into consideration as you're training. If you are geared towards, you know, you want to Learn so you can apply it with a sport, like you're a boxer, you want to learn how to apply it with boxing, you're an MMA fighter, you want to learn how to use it with MMA, boom. There are definitely brothers out there that can teach you that, right? If you are somebody who are like, well, I'm not really concerned with the sport aspect, I want to know how the, the survival aspect, the urban survival system, right? Boom. Then you want to get it from somebody who has that, again, staying in that box. Right? Keeping everything tight. Right? The arms should be moving all the way out here without reason. Right? Even I do the cool white guy. Right? Boom. I'm moving. It's a response to a committed attack. So everything serves a purpose. And every rule has its exceptions. Right? But for the most part. Right? When you're standing in here, this is where... The fight is taking place. This is where your blocks are at. This is why I stack the deck is here. Shuffle the deck is here. Right? Boom. That. All of this is right in this spot right here, in this area here, to mitigate where you get stabbed. Right? So, I know this is brief. But I just wanted to share that. Right? And, um, and I'm going to sign off. 52 VTK Concepts. Signing off, Harambe. My only goal right now is to murder like Mo. Stay loaded like Lux, nigga, I don't give a fuck. This is bag up music, gorillas in the trenches. We out here for real.